Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, this gal's cage hasn't been cleaned in a long time. And she's accumulated a number of those nasty flies that I would like to die. Um, so now's a, a relatively good time to uh, to help them along that uh, goal. Hi, how you doing, girly? This is the uh, mother death adder. Uh, she uh, ate uh, a couple of small things this week, but uh, we'll obviously need her out because she is completely lethal, but generally pretty good tempered. Uh, I have two hooks because death adders sometimes don't hook very well. Now this is, <laughs> this is a very large death adder. Uh, if this one bit you, you would certainly uh, be off to take that dirt nap unless you got treated. Um, so she's pretty relaxed. We're going to gently lower her in the bucket with some lukewarm water and uh, hopefully she'll sit there and take a drink. Um, so we'll just uh, put the lid on just for security reasons and we'll now empty and, and clean her cage. I'm really glad I didn't stick my fingers in here while cleaning because, you know, sometimes I'll do that under the edge because you can't really see. Um, and look what I found, a little, uh, a little deathy, a little baby deathy that's, that survived all this time with no food and just a minimum amount of moisture. Um, Hi, I know, I know, that's amazing, huh? Oh, strike at my face, you little toad. Um, sweetheart, get the, uh, get that, well, let's get that bin. <laughs> you have a stuck shed, so we'll immediately hose you down because I'm certain you're going to want a drink of water. And we'll make your substrate extra wet. And we should really I should get some... Well, I'm sorry. Oh, I see your little jaws moving. Here. Want some water. You probably can use a good drink. And maybe even you're a boy. There you go. The rains have come. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll give him extra special attention uh, because uh, he needs it. Uh, there you go, Gil. Now, I didn't uh, toss more out. This is a must have especially with vision cages, so you can inspect in those hard to see areas uh, 
for little critters that you didn't even know that were here. Now up there, it's, there's no chance of anybody getting up there because the light fits too well. But uh, having a little inspection mirror, spend a few dollars at the dollar store. Um, okay, well now I'll just continue with this uh, <laughs> surprising cleanup. Okay, uh, gonna have a look around uh, in the cage. It's uh, uh, mostly clean, new substrate, some foliage for her to hide under so she feels a little bit more comfortable. Uh, water dish is uh, cleaned and renewed even though she probably won't use it. Uh, fresh substrate to hide in. Uh, I didn't uh, disinfect the walls, I cleaned the glass, or Mrs. Viper Creeper cleaned the glass while I was getting the foliage. Um, so that should be good enough uh, for this lady. Hey, you ready to go back? Huh? Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're okay. Come on. We'll uh, use the big hook for that big booty. There you go. There you go. Easy. Easy. There you go. Whoa, that's a big tuchus. Hey, no going up. It's your home. Don't be testy either. Huh? You should be able to taste the walls and find your scent. All I did was I, uh, I just renewed uh, your cage. There you go. Now, you, you little toady, come here. Stink bug. Mm. Mm, those are some hefty venom glands. Yeah, she uh, definitely would ruin your day if she bit you. In anger, or in a feeding response. Hello? Hello, I see you picking up your head. Look what I got. Hi! Are you ready? Are you ready? You are. You, okay, look, don't get overzealous. Just relax. Easy, easy. There you go. So beautiful. Oh, you're always like that. Would you like something to eat there, Mrs. Fields? That's good. That's very good.
Hi. How are you doing? Would you like another? Huh? I know that was small. I know. It was small on purpose because I want the uh, the medicine inside to uh, to get into your system faster. I know. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you uh, just uh, be happy with that tonight, and over the weekend you'll get something else. Okay? <laughs> Probably not. No. Okay. Uh, I want that hand. That hand. <laughs> that hand might be food. It's so hard to say no, but you know, she's getting to be a really big girl, and I don't, you know, want her to grow thing. Now she's going to be indignant. <laughs> it's like you bastard. <laughs> okay, how's Mrs. Field doing? Mrs. Field's got it linked essentially. You're just too cute. Okay, since Snouty has departed for the Phoenix Zoo and his new home and new girlfriend and such, uh, we're going to uh, relocate Miss Simus. No, I don't have food, Miss Simus. That's what you're looking for, I know. Hello. Uh, we're going to relocate Miss Simus over to Snouty's cage because she's a big girl, right? Uh, you're a big girl. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Ooh, that scary lady again. Yeah, that's Mrs. Viper Keeper. Come on. I know. I know. I'm not going to move you with your furniture this time because uh, I think... Uh, 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 <laughs> that's what locking onto the heat signature of my hand looks like, folks. Come on. Come on, big girl. Of course. Of course. Oh, weasel, calm down. Make this as easy on us both as we can. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I know it's a hook. I know it's a hook. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had a big rattlesnake by the tail. Look at her. Isn't that fantastic? That is one beautiful rattlesnake. You don't necessarily want to get bit by either. Come on, go on. I know it's new, but it's it's great accommodations. It's very nice accommodations. Look at that fat booty you got there, sweetheart. Yeah, and, and Snouty wasn't a, an artiste, so it was fairly tidy cage. throw this very long tongue out there to check everything out. Boy, she's got a long tongue. Her and uh, Mr. Collette had the long, the Gene Simmons Award in my collection. I really want to reach out and tweak her tail. I will. <laughs> Look at that. You've got all sorts of hiding places, Miss Simus. Okay, well, let's let Miss Simus uh, get used to her new uh, abode there, and uh, we'll continue the cage cleaning marathon. Mr. Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown, you were sleeping.
that's amazing he's sitting there for that length of time. He's like, I very seldom get rats. I am going to relish this. Yeah. He probably won't fly up your nose like the young Eastern Brown almost did to me a few minutes ago. Well, the only reason I'm doing this is because he's got his mouth full. Not that he couldn't spit it out and fly across uh, the No, room. no, no, you don't understand. That's food. He doesn't spit food out for <laughs> anything. Want one of these rats, huh? No, you're not in a food mood, huh? Bell with you. Well, you're not going to have any luck eating it that way, dummy. There you go, girly. You do happy death at her for me, huh? Hi, George. <laughs> he's having a real problem with it. He's got it midway, and it looks like he squished a bunch of guts out. He's embarrassed. I know he's trying to hide his face. Well, there you go. You're making it to the right end. You got it right by its ears. There you go. 